Hm? Excuse me. No. Never thought I'd see the day when we'd all join forces again. The party's back and better than ever. Well, better than ever might be a bit much for a bunch of jobless dudes over 40. Ah, who's keeping score? I say you're the best pals a guy could have. And so what if we're out of work? We're heroes in our hearts. Let's hold our heads high. You know, despite you having absolutely zero basis for saying that, I respect your optimism. Aw, oh, man, you flatter me. That wasn't exactly a compliment. <laughs> I swear, it's never a dull moment with you two around. Anyhow, let's put our backs into it, eh, comrades? Hell yeah!
Stronger. Nice. Hell yeah. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございます。Unai? Whoa, a real TV announcer in the flesh. <laughs> She's even hotter up close. <laughs> uh, thank you, I'm honored. Well, goodbye. Wait, hold on. Can we like take a picture so I can show all my friends? Seriously, dude, forget that. Hey, do you have a boyfriend? How about one of us? Who do you like better? Me or him? I'm in a bit of a hurry, actually, so excuse me. What, you think you're some kind of celebrity? I wouldn't piss us off if I were you and I, son. So she's a TV announcer, huh? I better help her get away from those sleaze balls. Hey, fellas, can't you see she doesn't want your company? Huh? Who the hell are you? Well, how do you know she's not into us, huh? Looks to me like she wants a piece of action, don't it? My dude, if you think she looks like she wants a piece of you, no wonder nobody's into you. You talking shit, old man? What's so wrong about getting to know a hot TV announcer? If you won't let us get close, we'll just have to take you out. Let's do it! Yeah! You wanna go? Let's go. You're in it now. Cool. Not a bad idea. Keep going? No! No, please, no! no I'm so sorry! <laughs> Freaking scumbags. You all right there? I am, thank you. I really appreciate you saving me. So, TV announcer, huh? Yep. 
I'm Risa Unai from TBS. I'm Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you. I guess you famous people got it tough, getting pestered by creeps like that. Oh, I wouldn't say that I'm famous, but I do get harassed by people like them sometimes, yes. Well, this is one hot dumpster fire of a town, so just be careful around these parts, yeah? Anyway, you heading to work? Right you are. I'm on my way to a radio show, actually. Oh, yeah? Yes, indeed. Have you heard of TBS Radio? The first time I've heard of it, but I might have a radio cassette player lying around somewhere, so I could probably tune in. Then please give us a listen. You can also try tuning in with a phone app, too. Uh, what's the show about? Oh, all sorts of things. Food, music, you name it. Sometimes we even talk about things overseas. I join as a co-host every now and then. We end up talking about games pretty often when I'm there. Are you like games too? I used to play them a lot when I was a kid. I always wanted to be a hero. Oh, uh, a hero, you say? That sounds... cool, I guess. Is this guy some kind of LARPer? I haven't been able to play any games recently, though. Well, maybe I ought to use the radio to study up on what's new. That'd be great. I could even talk about how you saved me on today's segment. Oh, no, it's cool. What I did's not worth mentioning on the radio. Well, take care, Unai-san. Stay safe, and good luck with your radio show. Will do. Thank you again, Kasuga-san. Radio shows, huh? It's been a while since I've listened to one, but maybe I'll give it a shot with my radio cassette back home. She mentioned they also have a smartphone app or something, so maybe I'll download that too. Guess so. No. Yeah. 
Yes. Huh? That's so. Just leave me. I can't swim anymore. Looks like we can get up from there. Hang in there, Nama! Uh, uh, can we really get to the Siryu Clan HQ through this rat hole? Yeah, no doubt about it. Still, I have heard some rumors about some... Real weirdos shacking up here. Stay on guard. Hey. Yeah. 
to the next level. Look at me go. Moving up in the world. Should I open it? Got it! Koichi's still-
文句あるのか頭に来たぞバトルズオンアスキックタイムおっとやっユーワンゴーウォッチス Let's go. Good. Nice. Hell yeah. Hey. Totally. It looks like we were able to sneak in. Where are we? The Seiryu clan courtyard? The chairman's room's up there, right? Yeah, no way I'd forget it. Man, that takes me back. It was just us three. First time we came here. Whoa, hey! The hell did you come from? Uh-oh. So much for getting nostalgic, huh? Right. Guess it's a fight then. Now let's rock and roll! Adachi-san! Namba! The battle is on. Okay. Come on. Ticket time. I'm up. Safe to say, they'll be hounding us. 
That just means we don't gotta sneak around anymore. We're going all the way to the top. Hey, I'm in good shape. Stronger. <laughs> On to the next level. Look at me go. Moving up in the world. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's get it done! Not bad. Ready when you are. Should I open it? Sweet! in here. Nobody sneaks into Saryu HQ and gets away with it. You three are dead meat! Damn it. German's room's right there, too. Shit. What's the plan, Ichiban? This guy's on a good one. <laughs> He's just what we wanted. After all, every dungeon needs a tough boss at the end. Bring it <laughs> Time. Take your best shot. Open one. I got it. Yeah. You're in it now. Have fun with this. Just as hard. Start again. Knock him down. Maybe we can toss him around. Going in. No Let's get it done. Break yourself. Okay. Let's do it. Don't get 
Got a big one coming. Stronger. Nice. Hell yeah. All right. Chairman's just passed here, yeah? Yeah. Stay on your toes. All right, we'll see that it's settled before next week's meeting. Precisely. We'll accept their proposal. Is that all? Very well. I'll be in touch. <clears throat> My apologies. I had to see that through. I've been managing things in Chairman Takabe's absence. I am Ebida, the clan captain. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ichiban Kasuga-san. So what? You hear about us from Takabe or something? Yes. I've heard a great deal, too. And Takabe, he's still locked up, right? In short, one of ours got busted and the chairman took the brunt of it. He's set to be released in two years. And what about you? You're filling in for him while he's away, right? I don't remember seeing you around before. I'm a new addition. I didn't join the Seryu until after the Great Dissolution. And you're already captain? You sure climbed the ladder fast. Based on that, you must be pretty good. You flatter me. 
But you see, with the death of the previous chairman and the chaos that followed the Great Dissolution, well, the fact of the matter is we were short-handed. To be even more blunt about it, my promotion was based entirely on how well I earned. As a Yakuza, however, that's not really something to be proud of. Hey, you're humble, at least. <laughs> Let's get back on topic. Chairman Takabe told me what you did for the Serio clan, among others. The Ejin Three are all very much indebted to you. Please excuse me for not reaching out sooner. Yeah, appreciate you rolling out the red carpet. We take security matters quite seriously here. Unless I give explicit permission, any intruders are to be eliminated on sight. Unfortunately, it seems there was a delay in giving orders, even after I'd confirmed it was you. Maybe relax your grip on the place then, huh? One wrong move and we'd be feeding the fish right now. Huh. If I told my men to stand down first thing, I would never have seen our heroes of Yokohama in action. As acting head of the Seryu clan, it's my responsibility to determine who we do business with. Surely you understand. Well, I guess we're the ones who barged in. Wouldn't be right for us to complain about it. <laughs> you have my thanks. Anyway, Ebina-san, the reason we came here... Yes, I'm aware. It's about Sasaki-san. Is that right? <laughs> that certainly saves us some time. Where do you think we're headed? Maybe the mountains? You know, so they can bury us in the woods? Far from it. We're en route to a warehouse at the wharf. And we gotta go all the way to the harbor just to talk about Sasaki? Well, seeing is believing, as they often say. After the Great Dissolution four years ago, even some Seryu clan members were ready to leave the Yakuza life behind. Chairman Takabe, in light of this, encourage them to do just that. However, one major obstacle stands between an ex-Yakuza and the outside world. The five-year ex-Yakuza clause, right? Yeah, correct. As long as that's in place, former Yakuza are unlikely to find decent work, forcing many onto the streets. Knowing what might await them, the first thing the chairman did was provide a way one might make an honest living. And what's that? You'll see. In fact, we're almost there. We bought the warehouse the Liu Mang had been using some time ago. It's here we gather trash from all four corners of the globe. Trash? I say trash, but in reality, it's a little more complicated than that. Rather, it's things one can no longer afford to keep. For example, we might receive evidence of a president's adultery or illicit money transfer records. A scholar may call them pieces of history, but to others, they are cursed objects meant to be destroyed. As to our part, we secretly store these controversial trinkets for safekeeping. And should the client request it, we'll dispose of their trash without hesitation. It's our duty to make clients feel safe, that they might entrust their disposables to this island nation we call Japan. So, it's like a giant safety deposit box. Precisely. Each storage container is lined with lead, so even x-rays can't make out their contents. In addition, the interiors are also vacuum sealed to prevent degradation. Naturally, that demands a rather high premium, but we still find ourselves with new inventory almost every day. I 
swear. What'll you Yakuza think up next? Oh, this isn't just some Seryu clan racket. It's our front corporation. Right, so this is where you're sending those who want out? Yes. The Olmi and Tojo's dissolution changed everything. Many Yakuza who are unable to reintegrate into society have since returned. Not everyone can weather those five long years. And thus the Yakuza is all they have. Whatever their reasons, it's estimated they number over 10,000. There's still that many? Far as they're concerned, the best option is to side with smaller local groups like the Seryu clan. Provided at least one organization remains, they will no doubt continue to seek them out. For this reason, Chairman Takabe plans to coordinate with all remaining Yakuza clans and quickly dissolve them as well. What? You mean all at once? The Yomei Alliance of Hiroshima, the Kitikata family of Hokkaido, the Ryudo family of Okinawa. Those are just the start, as he's secretly in touch with many other groups as well. He's aptly called this plan the Second Great Dissolution. Should it succeed, then the Yakuza will truly be a thing of the past. I have been acting on his behalf, carefully advancing the plan while he's away. Never knew Takabe had his sights set so high. In order to avoid the hardship caused by the first dissolution, the second will only be carried out once we've secured enough jobs. To that end, we've been expanding our business in numerous areas. Frankly, not all of them have been successful, but we can't afford to let that slow us down. We must give all we have to the task at hand. So the second great dissolution. When exactly are you guys planning to pull the trigger? When the time is right. That's all I can say for now. You've told us so much already, even though we just met. Seriously, it means a lot. Kasuga-san. Adachi-san. I'm well aware of all the work you two have done in rehabilitating former Yakuza. That said, I am also aware of your current predicament. Uh -huh. Despite this, let me assure you that our goals are the same. Masumi Arakawa's last wish. His incredible dream of giving every last Yakuza a chance at normal life. Would you entrust that to us? Kasuga-san, Adachi-san. Sasaki! Guess you really were here after all, huh? Uh, I'm sorry, I, uh... <laughs> well, uh, to be honest, I came here with the intent of joining the Seiryu clan. Uh, but thankfully, Ebina-san said I could stay a civilian. You've got nothing to apologize for. If you're okay with this, then you have my support. We will take responsibility and look after Sasaki-san from here on. Is that all right with you? Honestly, it's amazing what you guys have done. Makes me wonder why I even bothered trying to do it on my own. Anyway, Abina-san, I ultimately just want to say thank you. This might sound kind of presumptuous of me, but if I may, could I ask you see this through? That no man gets left behind? Yes, of course. I'll see that it's done. Kazuka-san. Hmm? Provided you still have time, there's someone I'd like you to see. Yeah? I mean, sure. I've got nothing but time right now. Glad to hear it. In that case, allow me to give him a call. That won't be necessary. <laughs> well then, it would appear he's already here. Hmm? No way. It's been a while, Ichi. Holy shit. Captain Sawashiro. <laughs>
No, it's fine. Old habits die hard, huh? <laughs> Captain Sawashiro! I, I thought you were in the slammer. W what are you doing here? You were found guilty. You killed the Seiryu chairman. Far as Ebbing is concerned, you're public enemy number one, right? At a glance, I'd say he's treating you like the opposite. You know, for a dumbass, you're pretty perceptive, huh, Ichi? And I see you're at it with that. Would it kill you to be nice for once? <laughs> I guess old habits really do die hard. So they do. So, uh, what exactly is going on? Well, long story short, I wasn't the one who killed Chairman Hoshino four years ago. What? late to the party, aren't you? <laughs> Seems even Hoshino got sick of waiting. Young master, what have you done? Yeah, I should be asking you. The ruthless Captain Sawashiro I once knew never dragged his ass. But I have a theory. You let it slip that someone was after the old man's head. Didn't you? Yeah. If all went according to plan, Ichiban would come save the day before you made the hit. That's what you were banking on, right? Well, change of plans. I see. So you sent a guy in ahead of me to ensure the job was done. I'll make sure the credit goes to you. If it gets around that you off the Seiryu clan chairman, well, you're sure to impress a cellmate or two. So then... That means I'd lost your trust some time ago, young master. You're wrong there, Sawashiro. You never had my trust to begin with. So someone else got to him before you even had the chance. Right. Then the young master played you as well. And even knowing that, you still took the fall. Well, I can't deny I was on my way to kill the chairman. Maybe I did pray for a sort of miracle. That by some chance I wouldn't have to. But it would have been too shameless of me to plead innocence. You had your reasons. I'm sure a lot was going through your head at the time, yeah? Well, that's true. I suppose I was trying to atone for my sins somehow. <sighs> it was clear the young master... No. 
my own son, was only sinking deeper into the abyss. I spoiled him, and Arakawa-san's death was a direct result of that. In truth, I might have prevented it, but instead I pushed him to do it. Once they put me in prison, I thought I'd just be counting down the rest of my days. But someone put that countdown on hold. That someone was Ebina. A man claiming to be his attorney came to visit. He told me he could prove me innocent, that he wanted to appeal for a retrial. So Ebina knew the truth? Did he know about Chairman Hoshino? That there was another killer? Yeah. He's a sharp one, that guy. Real young, full of energy type. He did everything he could to get me out of prison. It was all to serve his goal. To start up the second great dissolution. You even heard it yourself just now. Arakawa still had a lot more to do before he passed. I get it. You couldn't be the one Yakuza left out of all this. <sighs> no way. I'm the guy that turned from the Tojo to the Omi, incited a war and went on an all-out rampage in the process. Get someone like me on your leash, and even a fresh face like Ebina's sure to turn a few heads. To keep the strays in line, you need someone who can bark over them. I suppose that's why he brought me in. Sounds like you got the short end of that one. I'd say it's the perfect job for me. <laughs> all things considered. If nothing else, it sure beats pretending to atone for my sins in some cell. Captain... I had asked Ebina to bring you here tonight, but... it wasn't so I could talk about myself. I know I have no right, Ichi, but I have a favor to ask you. A favor? From me? It's a rush job, too. Let me hear it first. I don't exactly want to bite off more than I can chew, you know? Well, as I understand it, you're fresh out of a job, right? I'm sure you'll find the time. <sighs> so, Zawa Shiro asks you a favor and without any clue as to what it is, you run off and snag a passport. Sir, yes sir, eh? That's one way to put it. Well, whatever his favor is, I imagine you'll be heading overseas, right? Passport ain't good for much else. He's gonna fill me in later today. Said he'll be waiting at Heian Tower. Are you gonna be okay by yourself? I mean, can we really trust Sawashiro? You know, I think if he was gonna hurt me, he'd have done it by now. That's a fair point. Not only that, I'm out of work, with plenty of time to spare. Figured I'd just go meet him. I'd feel bad turning him down at this point, especially after he came to me for help. Guess we're all going to Heian Tower then. <laughs> You're not the only one with time on his hands after all. with 
Bring it on. Okay. Let's get it done. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. I'm up! there'd come a day when we'd share a meal here. I'll say. Still, I assumed it'd just be us. Actually, they're here on Ebina's orders. <laughs> I made a lot of enemies before getting arrested. Plenty of people out there still hate my guts, it seems. Oh, I did what you asked. Got my passport right here. Ah. Excellent.
So, uh, what's this favor you're asking? I'm sending you to Hawaii. There's someone there who wants to meet you. Hawaii? Uh, who is it? Well, it's your mother. What? She's the one woman the boss truly loved. Akane-san. Huh? Wh wh wait, that's... Just so we're clear here, yes, you are indeed the boss and Akane-san's child. That fateful day 40 years ago, I saw everything with my own eyes. On that day, two babies at the coin lockers were sadly mistaken for one another. In a perfect world, you would have been raised as Masato Arakawa, the boss's own flesh and blood. You were, of course, replaced with... <sighs> the son I abandoned. If you hate me for it, you're welcome to say so. You have every right. You know, I've always had two fathers. Jiro Kasuga at the Shangri-La Soapland, and by oath, Masumi Arakawa. For what it's worth, that's all I needed. Maybe you're right. That said, what about your mother? Right, uh, so, uh, this Akane-san lady is... Yes. She's your mom. No, but Akane-san... I, I heard she was killed! Heck, Arakawa-san told me himself! The Hikawa family hunted her down. You know, the guys Arakawa-san used to roam with. Right, well, that may be what the boss believed. But... It's not entirely true. <sighs> Prior to the boss's departure, the patriarch of the Hikawa family hoped marry Arakawa-san to his daughter. That's how much he liked him. You might even say the Patriarch wanted him as his heir. But as fate would have it, the boss was already together with Akane-san. So he had to fearfully turn down the offer. Right. That was it. And the Patriarch's rage upon hearing the news was more than the boss could have ever imagined. In a sudden turn, he tried to kill both the boss and Akane-san, who at the time was pregnant with you. You see, the boss had heard Akane-san was caught by the Hikawa family, but he never saw her body for himself. He kept believing she was out there, and so he strung up one Hikawa member after another. But by then, it was too late, and the order to kill Akane-san had already been passed on to the contractors. Contractors? Professional hitmen. So now they were on the hunt too. The Hikawa Patriarch was playing all his cards. All that to kill Akane-san? Just her alone? Crossing the Yakuza carries a heavy toll. Surely, I don't have to tell you that. Mm. It was then, Arakawa made one last move. And in order to save your mom, he raided the Hikawa family HQ all by himself. Yeah! 
Wherever she may be, she won't have much longer to live. The hounds are already on her trail, and once they sniff her out, it's feeding time, down to the very last bone. Whether I live or die makes no difference. My orders are absolute. Then make new orders. Tell whoever you hired, you're calling it off. The plan's already in motion. Give it up. As far as I'm concerned, you crossed the point of no return a long time ago. Did you forget? Where the fuck is Akane? <laughs> no longer in the country. She's bound for the Philippines. Stowed away on some shady looking cargo ship, it seems. Imagine. A pretty little thing by her lonesome, with hardly a yen to her name. Surely she has to earn her keep somehow. I hear life at sea is quite demanding, but it's the men that see you I'd be concerned about. <laughs> Bet you they're lined up as we speak. Shit! You piece of shit! <laughs> <laughs> Tell your men to stand down! Or they'll be dead just like you! Hikawa! <laughs> That's the spirit, Arakawa. Oh, I've been wanting to see that face. To hear you scream like that little brat you are! Make the call! Do it already! <laughs> One really has to wonder, though, how bad is your bitch holding up? <laughs> the boss continued torturing the Hikawa Patriarch until he breathed his last. But no matter what he did, the madman kept on laughing till the bitter end. And in the end, he never found out where Akane-san was. And now he had no chance of calling off her pursuers. But wait, he knew she was headed for the Philippines, right? There had to be something he could do. There was. He flew to the Philippines as soon as possible, and once he formed his own family, his subordinates joined the search. But nothing ever turned up, and the years just kept passing by. He came to believe that if Akane-san were alive, she would have contacted him. That day never came. So he and the rest of us assumed the worst. Though no one ever said it out loud. It's the photo of Akane-san the boss had us carry around. What? I can't imagine you've seen it. This is her? Akane-san? Oh. She's native Hawaiian. Albeit with some Japanese blood mixed in. Then I have that blood too? Guess that's how it goes. Ten years had passed since Akane's son went missing. Then, one day the boss got an emergency call. It was from an officer of a Filipino group we had dealings with. He found a girl in Hawaii who looked just like her. Then that mean... maybe she moved back home at some point? Yeah, we'd been looking at that angle too, as you might have guessed. But the boss never knew where exactly in Hawaii she was born. That might be why we still came up short. So you went there to take a look? 
To find Akane-san? As soon as I got word, I was on the first flight out. It was just me, though. And Bolas stayed behind. Why? What? Why didn't he go with me? If I can afford to be blunt, it's because he was afraid. He'd had enough. A man can only have his hopes built up so many times. The stronger and more promising the lead, the bigger the hurt when it all fell through. I see. Makes sense. Anyway, off I went. <sighs> Eventually I found her. It was Akane's son, no doubt about it. And she was safe and sound? She was. <laughs> about as safe as you can get. Granted, uh, that presented a bit of a problem for me. Huh? Say, all went well, and she returned to the boss. Akane-san would inevitably want to meet her child. And in that case, she'd quickly see that her son's been living with a handicap since the transfer at the coin locker. Now, she might at first say that just being able to reunite is enough. But eventually, she'd want to know about his condition. And she'd probably ask how that happened. Before long, she and the boss would be comparing their memories from that night. Then it had hit. They'd realize they transferred their baby at different lockers. How then would they treat Masato Arakawa, the young master, the boy they believed was theirs? Uh, well... No one truly knows what would have happened. But I did know this. As long as Akane-san kept out of Japan, everything here'd stay the same. Neither I nor the young master would have to suffer. Wait, then you... you flew out to Akane-san too? Exactly. When I saw Akane-san, I was planning to kill her. Even I couldn't help trembling. I had every intention to get rid of the woman the boss loved. However, I ended up walking away. All thanks to something she said. If anyone asks, I've been dead a long time. And Akane-san has kids out there? It shouldn't come as a surprise if you think about it. A young girl on the run from hired killers, with absolutely no hope of contact from the man she loved. Who could blame her for anything? From then on, it was her life to live. So I decided to honor her wishes. I gave word to the boss that Akane-san was dead. I told him the Hikawa family had reached her first, that all I'd found was her lifeless body, nothing more. The boss quietly accepted my report. The search for Akane-san was called off, and she was never spoken of again. After that, I stayed in contact with her, though sparsely. I needed some control over her so that she wouldn't suddenly get homesick for Japan, you see. You're a certified asshole. Still, I get that this all started because of what Akane-san said. I'm not saying everything you did was wrong. Well, with the boss now dead and me out of prison, the situation has changed. I wrote a letter to Akane-san. I told her everything there was to know. How I betrayed the boss, and 
met Ichiban Kasuga, the boy who grew up in a soap land, was her child. Ironic, isn't it? Neither I nor Akane-san were finally free until long after the boss was gone. <sighs> Anyhow, Ichi, Akane-san, she tells me she wants to meet you. She does? Me? Akane-san's home address. It's right there on the front. Is this a letter from Akane-san? It's just the envelope. The letter was to stay between me and her. I'm afraid I can't show it to you. Sure, I get that. Sure, it must be strange to be in your 40s and be asked to meet your mom for the first time. But Akane-san's only getting older. A son ought to set his mother's mind at ease before she passes on, don't you think? Well, yeah. This is just one more way for me to atone for all I've done. I'll be booking your flight to Hawaii. You'll leave tomorrow night. All that's left is how you feel about it. Will you go? Not for me, but for Akane-san. Please, won't you see her, Ichi? Captain... I beg you. You know... I never thought I'd see the day you bowed your head to me. All right, I'll go see her. Well, I would have killed you if you'd said no. What's up? Yeah. I see. Okay. Hey. Okay. Okay. Sure. Yep.
Hold on. Yeah. Hmm. Listen. Got it. Thanks. Listen. Yeah. I'm taking off, boss. I'm gonna go meet her. Akane-san wants to see me. Arakawa, he had no clue Akane-san was still alive. Or that you were actually his son. He never knew about any of it. You know, whether I'm the boss's blood or not, I can't actually say. Honestly, does it even really matter? Huh? To the boss, I'm just me. And to me, the boss is just the boss. His blood, my blood, it's not important. It doesn't change a thing. And that's why you won't take a DNA test? If it were me, I don't want to set the record straight. For all I care, I got two dads. I've got the boss right here. And I've got Jiro Kasuga, the man who stepped in when no one else would. That's good enough for me. If you say so. Man, you always gotta be so stubborn. Say, by the way, what's that in your hand? Oh, um, I've got some of the boss's ashes in here. Huh. You get that made somewhere? I want to give it to Akane-san. Uh, you know, provided she'll accept it. So that was it, huh? That's what made you decide to go? Maybe. For what it's worth, I thought it might make the boss happy. So, what do you think, boss? Nancy? That's my pet crawfish, of course. Nancy. I sort of bargained for her life with a homeless fisherman. She's been with me since. Namba stuck her in a clay pot as a joke, but turns out she finds it pretty cozy. Oh, yeah. If I'm going to Hawaii, Nancy will need a sitter. Wonder who I could ask. Uh, Hitachi song, maybe? Huh? That a no? Listen, if my stay in Hawaii goes long, you might dry out by the time I'm back. <laughs> Fine, have it your way. We're in this together. You want to come to Hawaii with me? Yeah, yeah. Be a good girl and keep cool, Nancy.
Jeez, what the hell's up with this guy? Uh, just another crazy off the streets. Nothing out of the order. Huh. Does it feel like we've had this conversation before? <laughs> Whatever. We know how to handle this. Roger. Mm -hmm. now you're going down. Down. Yeah. You wanna go? I'm up! Let's get it done! Let's go! Yeah, no good. Uh, uh, Man, what was his problem? I swear, this city's just as ugly as it ever was. Oh, ho, oh, a turncoat titillator. Classic. You've not lost a step, Cassida. How fortunate for us all. Uh huh? It's been a while, my boy. You! Uh, who were you again? <sighs> it's me, you fool! Professor Morikasa, the bloody Sujiman Sensei. Oh, right! I was <laughs> just kidding. Of course I remember you, Sensei! Sujiman Sensei? This guy a friend of yours, Kasuga? Uh, you were with me when I met him, I think. He took us over to his, um, Sujimon Center, right? Come on, man. It's hard enough to remember the names of cute curls these days. Much less scarred up cue balls. Uh, if you say so. Uh, listen then. This guy's the Sujimon Sensei. The creep who researches other creeps. Let me fill up a whole catalog of data on them. The Sujimon. <laughs> Guilty as charged. More monster than man all. And inclined to make passers-by feel super jittery. Sujiman! Uh-huh. Okay, yes. It's a stretch for the necessary classification. For society to rid itself of these violent creepersoids, research and categorization are vital endeavors. You see? Ever. My ultimate goal is world peace. No shit. This world, despite all my efforts, it's still rotten with criminals and degenerates. Just look around you for proof. And so I collect data on them, their behaviors, their habitats, to help good, honest citizens stay clear of danger. That's why you needed Kasuga's help, since he's always getting his ass kicked in the seediest parts of town? Right! It's coming back to me now. Well, Kasuga, will you take up the Sujimon cause once more to be the very best? Huh? Uh, sure. You do still have the Sujidex installed on your phone, of course, don't you? Hey, hold on! You... you deleted my Sujidex app! All that data... gone! Hey, man, those things don't have much space. With no cloud backup. Ugh. Nothing to do but reinstall it. Oh, what a pain in the ass. Enough whining. You want to keep the world safe, don't you? Wait, I forgot. I'm planning to go to Hawaii soon. Will this thing even work overseas? Huh? Uh, well, it should, in theory. But why are you headed there, might I ask? I've got some stuff to take care of. My boy, Hawaii is known far and wide as a Sujimon paradise. Uh, really? Mmm. One could call it an entirely different region of Sujimon. A tropical dreamscape, yet a land of shadows, blessed by the sun and the moon. In fact, 
I've even heard tell of some sort of Sujimon tournament there. Uh, how would that even work? Perhaps. We'll speak more of that when the time comes. Away now, my boy. To Hawaii you go for priceless Sujimon data. Remember, gotta dispatch them all. Become the Sujimon master again. Whatever you say, Sensei. Going to Hawaii, huh? This might be my one chance to get it all back. You sure you got enough stuff with you? I mean, it's Hawaii. Not a day trip up to some hot spring. You stay in there at least a few nights, right? Bring enough change of clothes? Hey, if I run out, I'll buy some. I hate dragging luggage around. Look at us. First we're homeless, and now we're stressing about extra clothes. Hey, you're right. We really moved on up. This might just be the R&R &R you needed. Take the time to enjoy it. Oh, and I'm good with any gift, but macadamia nuts. Sure. Thanks, guys. Well, guess I'm off. Happy travels. like a sunrise in Hawaii. <sighs> On behalf of all of our crew, thank you for choosing to fly with us today. We hope to see you again soon. Careful, hold on. Oh, please, just just wait uh, one second. Hey, mind if I take over? Yes, please. Thank you. No need to be so gentle with it. Just lift him by his belt here, like a sumo in his loincloth. See. Thanks for lending a hand, sir. We appreciate the help. No. If anything, I was being too nosy. I wouldn't call helping a stranger out nosy. I take it you've done this before? Well, an old friend of mine spent most of his life in a wheelchair, so... Ah, uh, yeah, that would do it then. Anyway, you here on vacation? Uh, you could say that, yeah. 
Right on. Well, let's make the most of it, huh? Later. Thanks again. Oh, uh, hui ho. Uh, who what now? Uh, uh, uh hui ho. It's like saying, until next time. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, hui ho! Hey. Oh. Sorry. Aloha. Aloha. Uh, this mean anything to you? Hmm? Uh, do I speak Japanese? Oh, you can read it! <laughs> you just come in from Japan? I got you. Now, uh, hop in. Hey, all right! Uh, where to? Here's the address. Look familiar? Hmm, uh, that's a good ways away. Oh, really? Is it gonna be a long drive? First time in Hawaii? <sighs> yeah. Cool. Welcome to the island. Uh, hope you have a nice time. Hey, so, you're from Japan, right? I'd love to get out there one of these days. <laughs> you say that to everyone who flies in from Japan? Like this is a sales pitch? Nah, that's just how I really feel. Japan's a wonderful country. It's super peaceful, it's a great food. Yeah, but what about Hawaii? This place is supposed to be heaven on Earth, right? Well, the warm weather all year round is nice, but uh... Yeah, Hawaii's got its problems, too. Ah, go figure. And truth be told, we love Japanese guests out here. Uh, they make great customers, and we used to get a lot more before. Maybe you ought to bring your friends next time. Maybe. This time around's kind of personal. You know, you're a pretty upbeat guy, huh? <laughs> that an islander thing? <laughs> no, I, I get that a lot, that I'm easygoing. But I'm not all Hawaii. My dad was from Japan. Oh, really? Then, is your mom from here? Yep. Huh. Hey, I guess you're the same as me. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Actually, I only found that out just recently. Uh, hey, uh, sorry, but mind if I see that envelope again? I, I want to check the address. Oh, sure. <sighs> we almost there? 
I could have sworn it was more toward the suburbs when I looked it up. Oh. Is that right? Guess somebody did their homework. Get out. See, this is why I love the Japanese. Butter them up just a little, and they'll trust almost anyone. Should I be putting my hands up? Eh, huh. you can stay as is, long as you're quiet. I'll want your wallet and your smartphone. And you know what happens if you say no, don't you? You're gonna shoot me? You? Really? You bet your ass. I ask because I don't think you can. Uh, uh huh? A lot of people say America's some gun crazy cowboy country. But I doubt many of those cowboys know what it really means to pull the trigger. Uh, the, the, the hell's your point? You want to know if someone's going to shoot you? Look at their eyes. A little practice, and you'll get the hang of it. But, uh, hey, hey! Didn't think Japan would know how to strike back, huh? Maybe now you'll think twice. God damn it! Don't get smart with me, asshole! Leave the cat! No one Let's gets do it! Time. Let's get it done! Yeah. Ow! <laughs> Ass kicking time! Open wide! Oh, Ain't no dead! Let's get it done! Yeah. And pick it time! Yeah. Uh, no. Not an enemy in sight! You know, if it just did your job, you'd have got a fat tip. But now all you get is a fat lip. Oh, and give me my envelope. Uh, envelope? The one with the address, man. Ah, uh, uh, oh. Oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> now what? You gonna turn yourself in? <laughs> Actually, it's uh, you I'm turning in. Huh? Uh. Yo! That's a Kane son! What the hell is wrong with you? Spit it out! <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, you taxi robbing dick. The fuck? Officer, help! I am being robbed! This hooter wore my money and he pointed a gun right at me! Wait a sec! Don't tell me you're seriously buying this crap! Are you? All right, all right, smart guy. Put your hands in the air and turn around. Okay, hang on. I, I'm doing it. Get on your knees. Look right now. I can explain. I swear I just got into town. I haven't robbed anyone. Come on, uh, arrest that scumbag. I'm pissing myself over here. Damn it. Why me? This is bullshit. <laughs> Better luck next time, asshole. Hold on, officers. That man is no thief. Oh, hey, you're the Ahuijo guy. Who you should be arresting is the driver. He's the real thief. And if you need proof, I recorded the whole thing. Here.
Hey, you saved my ass. Not even here a day and I almost land myself in jail. Sorry you had to go through all that. I was surprised myself. Yeah, but what are you doing here? Well, actually, I was following you. Following me? <sighs> That's right. As we were leaving the airport, I noticed you had hopped into a suspicious-looking taxi. It looked suspicious? You could tell just by looking at it? The thing is, I was born here. As it stands, I've got a bit of a, a sixth sense for it. I can tell if a driver's out to scam tourists or not. And he was setting off the alarm, huh? It's not like I was 100% certain about him. But you were so nice to me on the plane, and I imagined what might happen to you, and frankly, I just couldn't leave it alone. Well, thanks, man. You really saved the day. Oh, I'm Kasuga, by the way. Ichiban Kasuga. Kasuga-san? My name's Mitamura. Eiji Mitamura. Hey, that's a good name. So, Kasuga-san, where were you headed? If I may ask. I... Oh, shit! That's right! The address was on the envelope! The envelope? Was that what that driver ate all of a sudden? Yeah. Did you copy the address somewhere? No. I didn't think I'd lose something that important. I see. Actually, hold on a moment. I might have something. Huh? You know what? I might be able to work with this. What? Are you serious? I can see the envelope in the video I just took. It's too rough to read as is, but I can try tweaking the footage. And then we can read it? Yes, I think that should work. You'd really do that for me? Of course. In fact, I'd say this was meant to be. But I won't need my laptop to enhance the video, so... If it's no trouble... Can I ask you to come to where I'm staying? Oh, sure! I owe you big time, eh, chan Eh, chan You're A.G., right? So you're a chan Sorry, did, did I get a little too chummy? Oh, no. It's just been a while since anyone gave me a nickname. Anyway, should we get going? Actually, Kasuga-san, aren't you hungry? Uh, oh, yeah. I haven't eaten anything since I got here. Could definitely grab a bite right now. In that case, why don't we do that? I haven't had anything either. All right! First big Hawaiian meal, let's do it! There's a place I used to go to pretty often. We can go there if you'd like. Uh, is there anything you'd rather not eat, Kasuga-san? Nah, I'm game for anything. People tell me I act like it's the best thing I've ever tasted, no matter what I'm eating, so... <laughs> well, that's good to know. Tja! If you're picking the place, then I'm ready to chow down. Just maybe we keep it cheap, because, you know, I'm kind of broke. Oh, no worries. It's a casual little place. <laughs> We're in business, then. Oh, man. Going on a trip's great. You meet all kinds of new people. Shame about the first guy waving a gun in my face, though. Could have done without that. I hear you. Still, all in all, that kind of thing doesn't happen too often. Honestly, I wonder if he's all right. You don't think he got shot or anything, do you? You worried about him? A guy like that? Well, I mean, the guy didn't seem evil. Not entirely, at least. <sighs> You're one of a kind, Kazuga-san. Not everyone could admit something like that, especially about someone who tried to rob you. You don't think? <laughs> Maybe it's the island. The bigger the space, the bigger the heart, you know?
Kasuga-san, what's the thing you think of when you hear Hawaiian food? Oh, uh, let's see. Loco Moco, I think? I know I've heard that one before. I mean, hamburger patties and sunny side up egg on rice? I'd wolf that down in two seconds. Oh, <laughs> it is tasty. And these days, it's not just with hamburger. You can get it with chicken or even mahi mahi. Mahi mahi? Oh, it's a type of whitefish. The big ones get up to about six feet or so. Wow, so is that like a Hawaiian specialty? If I caught a fish that big, I'd never shut up about it. <laughs> it makes for a good story. On that note, Kazuga-san, how long are you planning to stay in Hawaii? I don't know. I haven't decided, but I doubt I'll be here for too long. I'm not exactly here for sightseeing. Oh, then what for? Work or something? No, it's not for work either. Oh, yeah? Well, we've come this far, I guess. My mom and I were separated at birth, and apparently she's still alive. She lives out here now. I came out here to see her. You were separated? Hard to believe, right? It hasn't really hit me yet, either. Oh, it's any wonder. I can only imagine how difficult that must be. Wait, then, the address on that envelope you lost... Was that hers? Exactly. Would have thought some guy would eat the friggin' thing. You sure have been through a lot. <laughs> you know, one door closes, another opens. I mean, here I am now, having a great meal with my new pal. Pal? But you mean me? If it's okay with you, yeah. You've been a great friend so far. Kasuga-san. <clears throat> All right. I guess I'd better get you that address then. I can't let my new pal down, after all. Yeah, I'm counting on you. Thanks. That's right. Yeah. I see. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Okay.
Leave it to me. <laughs> sure. Excuse me? <laughs> Sorry. Sup? No. Got it. I see.
Allow me! Yo! That's picking time! Show you, Kasuga-san. Now's your chance. Let's go. That's picking time. Not an enemy in sight. My bad. I see. Excuse me. Sure thing. Aloha! Thank you! Hey. Thank you. Awesome! It's gorgeous everywhere you look. I'm glad you're enjoying it. 
If I wasn't stuck in this chair, I'd show you a few other places too. No, this has been great. Have you been in there a long time, Achan? No. Uh, I was in an accident after work one day. I guess it's been about four or five years since. Oh, an accident, huh? That must have been rough. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, what about your friend, Kasuga-san? You mentioned him earlier. Oh, yeah. He was in an accident, too. He lost his ability to walk when he was just a baby. I met him when I was a teenager. Wheeled him all around town for years. I think I wanted to be the legs he never had. Still, that wasn't what he wanted at all. Really wish I would have known that sooner. Kasuga-san? Hmm? Oh, oh, sorry. Talking to myself. He's a dear friend to you, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He's more like a brother, if anything. A brother? Well, that's how one of us sees it, at least. Oh, also, am I going the right way here? Oh, yeah, this way's fine. All right. Kasuga-san, if I had to guess, I'd say you have a lot of friends. There's something about you. And you're incredibly easy to talk to as well. Hey, thanks, eh, John? I'll introduce you one day. Maybe once we're back in Japan. Oh, no. I would just get in the way. Nonsense! We got nothing better to do. So, you and your friends, you said you're all in Yokohama? Yeah, Ijincho. I ended up there after getting shot this one time. Woke up in a garbage can. A buddy of mine who was homeless at the time wound up saving my life. <laughs> You're making things up now, right? It's the truth. Honestly, I've never told a single lie in my life. <laughs> you sure that wasn't a lie? <laughs> <laughs> See, look! You're on my chest. you still got the bullet wound. You're kidding. Oh, wow. Is that really a bullet wound? Yeah. And the guy who saved me is a good friend. Has been to this day. He did eventually find work and stuff, but as I said, we're all back on the job hunt now. Yeah, that's right. Sheesh, it's all coming back to me. Everything was my fault. I'm why they lost their jobs. Is everything okay, Kasuga-san? Yeah, sorry. Uh, just some baggage I haven't let go of. Well, I don't know any of the specifics, but if they're your friends, I'm sure they've gotten over it. You sure know how to cheer a guy up, eh, Sean? Uh, <laughs> don't mention it. Here we are, Kasuga-san. This is the place. Oh, we're here? Okay. Thanks for having me. How's it look, eh, John? Can you pull it off? Well, I'm gonna run the image through analysis right now. We'll know soon enough. Unreal. I'm totally clueless with this stuff. Well, I could never fight off some lunatic cab driver. Okay, analysis complete. As for the address... Huh, I think we got it! Holy crap! How did you do that? Hey, I'm just glad I could help. You're the man! Thanks so much, Achan! <laughs> hey, it's you! From the taxi! <sighs> it's like a meat locker in here. So. These were the ones giving you grief, Tomizawa. Uh, yeah, th there's no doubt about it, Yamai-san. <laughs> Dude looks like a modern-day pirate. Hmm. 
You know, your face looks awful familiar. Yeah? Now where have I seen you before? Oh, that's right. You're Kasuga, the hero of Yokohama. Huh. I'll be darned. Don't tell me you boys don't know. Kasuga here starred in the great dissolution of the Yakuza. What? I take it you didn't come for an autograph. Your little taxi scheme went south, and now you want to settle the score, is that it? While it is true that Tomizawa here botched the job all by himself, the car he got impounded belongs to my syndicate. Oh yeah? You trying to tell me there are Yakuza in Hawaii? <sighs> Not exactly something you'd find in a guidebook, is it? On that note, someone's going to need to reimburse us. At a glance, I'd say you're strapped for cash. You do seem rather lively, though, so I'm sure we can put you to work. I'll level with you, you're my son. I have no idea how the Yakuza operate out here in Hawaii. What I do know is you've got it ass backwards. If anybody's gonna reimburse you, it should be him. <clears throat> I do see your logic. The problem is, he's worthless. Oh, does somebody not drink his milk? A light tap like that and your bones go crunch. Fragile little thing. How could you? This bottom feeder used to owe us money, you know. And so... I gave him work because he claimed he had no income. So if anything, he should be thanking me. Hmm. Hmm. That's some fine looking tech you got there. Don't you goddamn dare. If you want to fight, you got one. But leave Achan out of this. Kazuka-san, all that's left of your envelope is on there. I didn't think to back up that image, so if they take my laptop... Got it. But don't worry. I won't let them anywhere near you. It seems we're at an impasse, then. <sighs> I'm freezing my ass off in here. Freezing? How are you not sweating your ass off? If only that were the case. Unfortunately, this tropical weather does nothing for me. Nobody understands. However, this might warm the blood. Kasuga-san, let me take support here. Thanks, Aton. By all means. Let's get it done. Kazuka-san, they're wide open! Okay. 
okay, Aton? I'm fine, but I'll need time to recover. That's picking time! Show you. Okay, enemy analysis complete. That's picking time. Hmm? Oh, Look at you. Now, Kasuga-san, now's your chance. Let's get it done. Stronger. Sorry, H son. No telling if there's more on the way. We gotta go. Right. The laptop safe, and the image of the address is secure. I just sent it to your smartphone. Really? Jeez, you're in this scary mess because of me. You got guts, H son. Not at all. I just didn't have much of a choice. <laughs> when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Thanks, H. John. I mean it. You're my hero. Ichiban Kasuga, eh? Well, Kasuga-san, thanks for everything. You kidding? No way, thank you! I dragged you into all that crap. No, 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 don't worry. Honest. It was an experience, and an invaluable one at that. If I'd heard I'd one day get into a Yakuza brawl, I'd have never believed it. <laughs> got me there. Also, Kasuga-san, you treated me like a regular person. You look at me being in a wheelchair like it's just a difference of being right or left-handed. Honestly, it was refreshing. I really enjoyed our time together. I'm not so good with praise. <laughs> Go on, keep it coming. I gladly would if we had the time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for everything, Achan. Let's meet up again. Uh, once things quiet down. Definitely. Best of luck with everything. Yeah, take care. Ahuiho! <laughs> yeah. Ahuiho, Kasuga-san.
So, this is where Akane-san lives. Excuse me! Akane-san! My name is Ichiban Kasuga! I came here all the way from Japan! Actually, Captain Sawashiro sent me! Mm. Huh? Is anyone home? Uh, maybe she's out. Excuse me! Hello? So, you just woke up on the beach out of nowhere. Yeah. Balls swaying in the breeze. Yeah. On top of that, you have no idea how it happened. No. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna need you to cut the crap here. I can make a better bullshit in my sleep. Sleep that I never get. Thanks to all you Japanese folks running around, needing help, or making trouble. <laughs> I know it sounds like bullshit, but I'm telling the truth! Uh, and why would I be lying? I'd just be digging my own grave! Well, at least you're not a druggie. Nothing crazy on your report. Guess you're just another sick pervert. But hey, your country's famous for weird shit. <laughs> like the anime porn or the panty machines, huh? Would you just listen? I'm telling you, I'm the victim! Call it robbery, grand theft even! My passport, my wallet, my clothes, my underwear! She did me so dirty! Excuse me? Hello? Just a sec. I'll be right out.
comes my mom. <laughs> okay, thanks for waiting. Akane-san, uh, it's so nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Who are you? Mm. Man, this is delicious. Aw, oh, thanks. I wish I could offer you something a little fancier. Are you kidding? The food's amazing. Not to mention the view. But yeah, uh, sorry I just showed up out of nowhere. <laughs> no worries. I'm just happy to finally meet Akane-san's son. Her son, huh? <sighs> Wish that didn't sound so awkward. But to be honest, I'm not really feeling it. Feeling what? I mean, I've never heard from her or seen her face once. Not since the day I was born, anyway. Besides, all the old ladies around town brought me up. In that sense, I had more moms than I can count. So, yeah, I don't really know if I need Akane-san to be my mom. To me, she's just my boss's main squeeze. Anyway, I came out here to give her this. What is it? What's left of a man she loved. Sad to think this is their first reunion in ages. But maybe it'll offer some closure. Maybe. Gotta say, I'm surprised, though. I never knew Akane-san was the type to have a maid. Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't call myself a maid, per se. I just do her shopping and help around the house. I'm studying abroad here, so it helps me pay tuition. Cool. Oh, yeah, I didn't catch your name. I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Uh, if you didn't hear me yelling it before. <laughs> I'm Chitose. Chitose-san, good to meet you. So, when's Akane-san supposed to be back? Oh, not for a while, actually. She told me she'd be here tomorrow. You know, you could always spend the night. We have a guest room ready and everything. Sure, if it's not too much hassle. So, tomorrow's the day. <sighs> Maybe I'm not ready for this after all. <laughs> I know what'll help calm those nerves. Oh, uh, thanks. <sighs> Seriously, pineapple wine? <laughs> the God's gift to man. One of Hawaii's many specialties. <laughs> I'm glad you're taking a shine to it. Oh, heck yeah! The drinks are fine. The food's divine. Hawaii's like heaven on earth. Yeah? Then maybe you'll appreciate this. Oh. Hawaii's pretty famous for its rum. Made with sugar grown right on the island. This one's the best of the best. Ooh. And I have to gear myself up here. I take it you're a pretty big drinker if you can handle stuff like this. Not as big as you from what I can see. Speaking of big, those arms. <laughs> a guy's gotta be built, don't you think? <laughs> you think so? Hey, uh, Shitose-san. Think you might be a little close? <laughs> Am I? Well, yeah. A sweet girl like you, alone with a scruffy old goat like me. There are guys who might get the wrong signal. What if that's the signal I had in mind, though? You're one of the nice ones, Kasuga-san. I feel like I can trust you already. Wow, you really are swole, aren't you? Do you box? Uh, no. I do throw punches every now and then, but... Uh, that's not the point here. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> You're so easy to read, Kasuga-san. Mm, by the way... 
Yes? <laughs> Did I mention we have the house to ourselves tonight? <sighs> Listen, Shitose-san, I feel like the luckiest guy in the world just being here. And I appreciate you taking care of me. But... I'm sorry. There's somebody else in my life. Huh. A girlfriend? Uh, if only I could call her that. If only she didn't hate my guts. And what's the problem? Besides, what she doesn't know won't hurt her. Yeah, well... It'll still hurt me. Hope you understand. <laughs> you are just the sweetest guy, aren't you? <laughs> Gosh. Uh, look, I'm sorry if I went too far. <laughs> All I want is for you to be comfortable. And you know what that means? <laughs> A toast to being an honest man. Ah, <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, that's the same rum we've been drinking, right? Hope it doesn't kill me. <laughs> Come on, it's just one little sip. <laughs> Man up, Ichiban. <laughs> Uh, all right, we're doing this. <laughs> to honesty, then. Oh, wow. This is kicking my ass. Chitose san, how are you still hanging? Oh. The hell was that? Think I should have eaten more. <gasps> Sorry, Chitose-san. The glass just slipped. Chitose-san. Should have done this from the start. <sighs> Sweet dreams, Kasuga-san. It's okay, I'm not in the Yakuza anymore. After that, you wandered around for about a half an hour before our boys rounded your dangly ass up. And that concludes our story. Look, I was just trying to get back to Akane-san's house! Right, Akane-san. The mother you never met, then you claim some mystery maid took everything you had. Officer, you gotta believe me! Believe you? Do you even understand your situation? You've got no passport, no wallet, not even the clothes on your back. That effectively makes you a John Doe. How do you like your new American name? Point is, no one's gonna believe a single word you say. 
<sighs> I'll give you one chance to unfuck yourself. You call up that so-called mother of yours and get her to pay your bail. I'll even be so kind as to lend you a phone. <sighs> There's no point. I don't have a way to get in touch with her. Oh, no one's on your side, huh? Well, that's a crying shame. <sighs> now, what do I want to put you down for? Don't want to waste you on something petty. But when was the last big... Hey, what are you mumbling about? Oh, yeah! That one case. It happened a half a year ago on River Street. Some money-waving tourist got mugged. Lost nearly everything on him, including his life. Took him three months just to get off the respirator. All right, what's that got to do with me? Oh, I'm getting to that. See, to this day, we don't have a clue who did it. It's our job to protect the peace. But when a crime like that goes unsolved, that's a problem, right? Well, that's your problem, not mine. <laughs> Buddy, you are slow on the uptake. I'm saying you are that culprit. What? Right now, you don't have a single shred of proof to defend you. So I can turn you into any criminal I want. <laughs> but hey, you'll be doing society a favor. Us cops can recover our image and the public can sleep better at night. You bastard! Yeah, that's more like it. Go ahead, take a swing. No, no, really, make my day. Because when the courts find out you assaulted a cop, your grave gets that much deeper. <laughs> you really are the perfect criminal. <laughs> now that I think of it, a few other cases ran cold, too. Wouldn't be hard to pin those on you, either. Let's see. Add it up. You just earned yourself at least 20 years in the slammer. And while you're rotting away, I'll be celebrating with the top brass. Huh. Maybe even get that big promotion. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Shit. You know, I grew up in a pretty shitty neighborhood with some pretty shitty people. Met anyone so full of shit in my life. Music to my ears, asshole. Now get up. You'll be cooling in a cell till hell freezes over. That's right. Just keep your head down and your mouth shut. Unless you want a longer sentence. <laughs> Thought so. Hey, officer. What? Why'd you want to be a cop in the first place? <laughs> to protect and serve, what else? Any other stupid questions? You're about what I expected. I should tell you, I had a history with the Yakuza way back when. Oh yeah, your back was all inked up. Fitting image for a violent, reckless scumbag. Maybe so. After all, we Yakuza can be reckless. And we do get pretty violent. Oh? Uh, uh, holy! Suck on that! Stop right there! Hey! We got a runner! Stop! Damn! Shit! How'd I end up in this mess? My ass is grass if I'm caught. Better get a move on. Breathe! What the hell? I sent a patrol car over already? Word got around that fast? You're in deep shit, pal! You're not getting away! You can't run forever! Don't do anything stupid! Can't run forever! Stop!
stop right there. We're gonna lock your ass. Here he is. Get him. <sighs> Crap. Freeze. Don't do anything stupid. Freeze. Hands up. A fitting end for the hero of Yokohama. I doubt Masumi Arakawa would approve. Long time no see, Kasuga. Whoa. Kiryu-san? Is that you? <laughs> Who else would it be? Well, it's just... You seem a lot different than before. How about now? <sighs> yeah, that's the Kiryu-san I know. But why are you even here? Now's not the time. For starters, let's see that other hand. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, oh, much better. But hey, have you always been this handy? More or less. Let's move. Man, am I glad you're here. Kiryu-san, allow me to give you proper thanks. You made me a fugitive's accomplice. Not sure a simple thanks will cut it. Uh, Kiryu-san, please forgive an idiot like me! <laughs> I'm kidding, Kasuga. I heard you got set up. Doesn't feel good, does it? Uh, not at all. But wait, how'd you even know where to find me? Well, I'm actually here on a job. I came to Hawaii to find someone, so I've been hitting the streets for intel, and that's when I heard about you. I guess I'm lucky your job took you here then. You saved my ass just now. By the way, when you say you're on a job... Guess I should start from the top. You know I'm dead on paper, right? Yeah, I heard it's to protect your family. Ever since I made that choice. There can't be a trace of me anywhere. And to prevent any slip-ups, any move I make is under watch. The Watchers are the Daidoji faction. They keep our economy flowing and our leader's hands clean. At least, on the surface. Sounds like fun people. Well, they requested that I take a certain job. I'm here with an assignment. An urgent one. <sighs> you are to find and detain the person in the photo. Doesn't look like your average terrorist, that least. Who is this, anyway? I do wish you learned your place by now. Have I ever answered those questions? Figured it was worth a try. We'll ready you a passport by next week. Under an alias, naturally. And why do I need a passport? For your vacation, of course. Your target is in Hawaii. Hawaii? <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? So that's what brought you. Must really be something big to drag you of all people out here. More or less. And right when I was getting down to work, I ran into you. Guess trouble always finds me in the end. I promise I'll make up for it somehow. Okay, then why don't I return the favor? 
I can help you on your search. You'll be the cool-headed advisor, and I'll, I'll be the hot-blooded muscle. Thanks. But don't you have enough to worry about? You assaulted and evaded an officer. Pretty sure that adds up to a felony. In fact, I imagine they have a warrant out for you as we speak. Though, in the end, I guess you're safer sticking with me. If it's money you need, I can help. But I can't do much about your passport. No worries. I'll get back what's mine. Couldn't forget the little thief if I tried. And on that note, I've got a couple words she needs to hear. You know where this thief of yours might be? I... have no idea. Uh, but, I was thinking Akane-san's house might hold some clues. You know, since the thief was working for her. Do you remember how to get there? Uh, uh, yeah, I should. Why? Because I'm gonna need directions. Wow, you're really gonna take me? Man, you really do go the extra mile. Uh, you, uh, need a shoulder rub? Do that, and I'll probably crash this thing. Thank you. No. I'm sorry.